Hello Cancer, this is Gypsy Spirit here uh, with you. I'm ready to give you your October 2022 reading, tarot reading and oracle cards. Um, and for those of you that don't know me or have ever heard me before, this is a general reading. So if um, what resonates with you, wonderful. If it doesn't, that's okay too. If you want your own reading, you can go to the box below and it will give you my website address. You can go to my website and learn how to get your own personal reading. In the meantime, we've already drawn your cards. So Cancer, let's go ahead and get started, okay? Um, it looks to me like there's been a lot of uh, oh, chaos going on in your life. Um, the, the first Oracle card, which is the map card, tells me that you've been in a deep freeze. But the thing that I love about this card the most, Cancer, is look at it. It's a lion. What does a lion represent to you? fierceness, st strength, but whatever happened to you, it caused you to go into a deep freeze. For some of you, I just got a message from my spirit guides. For some of you, it may have been a death of uh, somebody that you cared very much for, even a child or husband uh, or spouse. Um, so, you know, I, I, and it, it will, that, that will free, that alone will freeze you. Um, so, uh, I see though that you are a like a fierce lion with a lot of strength, but, um, this, whatever it was that happened, just really put you into a deep freeze. But I feel like you're now, you know, like starting to come out of it a little bit. The 10 of pentacles is in reverse, which is telling me that things have not been happy on the home front. So this also, the, the deep freeze could also be a divorce. You know, again, this is a general reading. You pick your story. But um, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is telling me that uh, things are not good, uh, that have not been good, They, uh, especially with money. And um, But you know what, um, Cancer? It's like when I see the Ten of Pentacles and it's in reverse, I'm going to put this upright and show you. You see the lady that's holding the staff? That's like your higher divine, okay? And she's got a staff. So whatever the situation is, I feel like if it's a relationship or a divorce uh, or even could be the ending of a job, it was like there were red flags and you always knew deep down inside that there was something that wasn't right, okay? And so it's like really interrupted your life. Uh, the King of Cups in reverse. It's like when there's all this chaos going around you, it's hard sometimes to separate yourself from the rest of the world so that you can get some insight. And I see that with the King of Cups. It's like you're so caught up. You've been really caught up in this situation that has just really derailed you that you've not even been able to like really take some some alone time, but your angel is Leela, and she is advising you to do just that. She says, spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. So it's interesting because I just did a reading for Gemini, and it's one of the cards that I pulled for Gemini is the exact same card that I pulled for you. And I'm going to read that to you in a few minutes, but it really looks like, um, whatever the situation is, again, you know, this is a general read. So you pick your story, but whatever the situation was, it just really knocked you down. Um, and when I, I know for myself, when I've been, when I get like that, when something affects me to that level, I, all I want to do is stay in bed. I don't want to pray. I don't want to talk to angels. You know, I don't, don't want to do that sort of stuff. I remember many years ago when my mother passed away um, in the mid-90s um, after we left the hospital where she passed away at, I had a coffee shop. I owned, owned a little coffee shop and a friend of mine was with me and we went back to the coffee shop. And I was just, I didn't know what to think. You know, I was in shock. I it just, it was like all of a sudden the universe lifted me and threw me on a different planet or something. I was just numb. 
And um, yeah, I, I guess you could say I was in a deep freeze. And I remember my friend um, pulled out the Bible and started reading a verse. And I remember thinking, God, please, I don't want to, I, I, I don't want to hear anything from the Bible right now. But she read a verse that I needed to hear. And, and it was so, it impacted me so much that I actually read it at my mother's funeral. So, you know, <clears throat> even though you don't want to, physically, emotionally, you don't want to meditate and connect with angels. Uh, now is actually the time to do so. So, um, and in saying that, uh, your next card is the Empress card. The Empress, you're going to start feeling better. I see that. If you start connecting with your angels and allowing them to guide you, uh, you are going to start gaining a positive perspective on what happened, why it happened, and how to move forward. The Empress card is a major card here, and it's telling me that, you know, you really do have a lot more strength than what you give yourself credit for. We saw that in the deep freeze being the lion, okay? Uh, you are fierce and you are strong. Don't, you can't let whatever this thing was to, to affect you um, in your everyday life. You have to um, pick up your strength like a fierce lion and move forward. So, and I see that. I see the kingdom, the, the wonderful, whatever's waiting for you in the background. And so when I see the Empress, I see there's a new light shining in your life um, that's going to be coming. And your flower card is the unity card, which is the hibiscus. Check this out. I, and I can't re wait to read the next card for you, but the unity card is the hibiscus. It says you're spiritually connected to everyone through God. Uh, use this sacred bond to heal your family, friends, and yourself. So I feel like whatever it is that has happened, I feel like if you allow yourself to start communicating with your spirit guides, your angels, and start getting yourself into alignment with God, then you, there's going to be something incredible, I mean, really beautiful, that's going to come through you. Uh, you're going to see things in a different perspective. And you're going to pass that on to all the other people that's around you that needs to be healed from this situation as well. But your last card is my favorite. It is Amplify. This is bonus card. Uh, it's Amplify Your Positive Emotions. So, yeah, see, and I'm going to read from the book what this means. It's a beautiful meaning, Cancer. And, you know, Cancer, you're going to be all right. Uh, you always are, and you're going to be all right through this, and um, I'll be praying for you. But anyway, it says amplify your positive emotions. There's a ripple effect of energy flowing from you. Be positive. You could choose to be negative, but that's going to spread to other people as well, and you want it to be positive. So simply staying happy and sending that happiness out from your heart will benefit those around you. I feel like there's other people, family members, or other people around you that need to be healed as well over whatever the situation is. And, and you have the power and the strength. You're so fierce with a lot of power. And you are the, the, the strength that's going to carry through for a lot of other, these, a lot of other people as well. Uh, as you adjust your motives and attitudes, this energy flows from you in concentric circles, affecting all of your desires and beliefs. There is a chance to bring good fortune and influences to all the events in your life. As circles also represent cycles, know that you are uh, continually going on in and out of circles, growing and changing. With every ending comes a new beginning. And trust that the positive energy you radiate will attract that wish for you. Yes, indeed. So um, the only thing that I can tell you right now, Cancer, is that it's vital. It is absolutely vital for you right now to spend some alone time 
um, in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions, and ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. It's the only way it's going to happen. Okay. So I hope this helps. Um, again, if you want your own personal reading, you can go to my website and it will give you instructions on how to do that. And I've got some sales going on as well. So, um, absolutely. Uh, if you like this video, uh, hit the like button. If you, uh, want to hear more of my videos, hit, hit the subscribe button and cancer. I hope you have a wonderful month and I will see you in November. Bye-bye.